we have one major thing happening today which I'm getting ready for. I'll walk you through it in a bit. Is that my best friend sent me her tickets? Horrible, horrible, horrible migraine I had. <laughs> doing what's going on it is tuesday 15th of november and uh, i may seem up and about in cheery at the moment but if you saw me yesterday you would realize what an absolutely horrible 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 migraine i had um i had a couple of things lined up for yesterday and to be honest a couple of things lined up for today as well the ones from today got moved to another day which is fine and well and good and great most of them we have one major thing happening today which i'm getting ready for i'll walk you through it in a bit but i'm so glad that yesterday's things got moved because i could not move yesterday like okay so first things first i think last vlog you saw me was from saturday i stepped out on saturday night which you'll see in a in this vlog or another vlog or whatever i'll see where it fits um uh, because it's a very small bit um i'm trying to like be more creative with how i share things with you usually i'm very very obsessed with keeping through things in chronology which i am in general but i realized that i need to play around with my vlogs a little bit more i'm just giving you some technical thoughts that i have been having clearly um sunday was a super chill day and then sunday night i had the biggest headache i've had in a while to be honest really 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 badly i slept at about 6 6:30 i was just dealing with a few things that i didn't want to be dealing with and i had a headache i could not sleep i woke up with the worst migraine um and not to say that like you know uh, i don't take care of myself i really do try to take care of myself um clearly i do take care of myself because for the first time in a while on a monday especially you guys know how mondays are for me i basically slept through the afternoon and i pulled something really unprofessional which is so unlike me but on monday evenings typically i have a weekly call with my management and because i was i had such a bad migraine and i slept off I basically slept through the hours of the call. So my manager texted me and I didn't see no message. This was really screwed up on my part for the record. I've never done something like this and hopefully I'll never do something like this again. And I obviously like reached out and apologized to them profusely. Um but my migraine was so bad that I landed up going to sleep at around 3 4. I don't know because I literally just passed out. It wasn't like a planned nap that went mad. Um and went lumba. um and i woke up at about 6 when jerry came into the room office room because i went off to sleep over here only on the gadda and all that um to check on me and i got up because i felt his hand on my forehead and basically he said hey you know your manager is trying to reach you are you okay he had come home a while back and then he saw the messages on the group and all that and he thought he should check on me i had a horrible migraine situation going on I have told myself that I need to reset my sleep schedule. I need to reset whatever my disciplined life was because clearly it was the lack of sleep that triggered the hell out of this migraine situation for me. It was something that I was dealing with personally that affected my sleep schedule. Nothing that I feel like talking about in vlogs, obviously. Um, but I just was. थ्रू द डे आई हैव दिस हैवी हैड एंड देन वो सोने के बाद जब मैं उठी हूँ तब मुझे थोड़ा सा सुकून मिला है कि हाँ ओके ना आई एम फीलिंग अ लिटिल बिट बेटर आई हैड डिनर लास्ट नाइट एट माई मम्स प्लेस विथ माई इन लॉज आई मोर इन सर्ट अ ग्रूप पिक्चर ओवर हियर एंड इट वॉज अ रियली नाइस चिल लो कि जस्ट आस फैमिली काइंड ऑफ डिनर आई एम ग्लैड आई गॉट दैट ऑल्सो बिकॉज फैमिली टाइम ऑलवेज अप लिफ्ट माई स्पिरिट्स इन मेक्स मी फील बेटर um and that kind of thing so that's my i don't even know how many minutes long forever long 5 minute long almost summary on what has been happening in my life past couple of days i thought i could do a no makeup makeup vibe so i jumped straight to concealer i mean it's top light right now so you're going to see a lot of shadow um this is better but i feel like maybe i should glam up or touch more maybe maybe what i'm going for now is really exciting it's really 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 exciting 
just add some more concealer. It's from Boing Like Foundation and Full Glam. Because I don't even know if I recorded the video. I don't remember. I'm about to be uh, on a podcast. I am recording for Priyanka Gill, who is the founder of Pop Exo, who is launching her own podcast on Spotify. And because I've done so much work with Pop Exo from back in the day, I feel like I've known them forever, obviously. They wanted me to be one of the guests um, on her podcast on this episode and I'm going for that. So I'm getting ready. I think there is a little bit of video but not throughout the entire podcast. Uh, but I obviously want to look like just, you know, like I have my shit together, like makeup does to me. And that's what's going on right now. I'm also feeling in really high spirits, I think, which has really cheered me up today. Um, is that my best friend sent me her tickets this morning. She is landing in from Toronto and I cannot wait to meet her and her baby. She and I have basically been best friends for like, we met when we were like 14, 15 I think and now we're both 31. She is one of the most understanding people in the world. Can I tell you what I did to her? I mean since I'm like telling you about all the things that are going on. I literally apologized to her on the phone for 10 minutes a few days ago, like last week, because she lives in Canada, I'm here in India, and you guys, if you watch my vlogs, you know that I lost someone in my family a couple of weeks ago, and um, on 1st of November it was, I think, and her birthday was on 31st October, so typically I, like, obviously have to call her on 1st of November because she's a day behind. And on 1st November, all of this happened over here. And in all this chakar me, I forgot to wish her happy birthday. Obviously on 31st, her birthday here, I knew it was fresh in my mind. Even on 1st November morning, it was fresh in my mind, obviously. Uh, but through the day, this happened and just kuch na kuch hoke. And then obviously I explained to her what had happened and I really apologized. And she's super understanding. She's super, super, super understanding. I think... You guys have met Simona in some vlog with the other. I don't know which vlogs you may have met her in. Um, I also didn't used to vlog that much. She moved to Toronto Jan of 2020. She got married uh, December 19. Alan Sir wanted to offer wedding photos over here of her with me. Um, and basically this is the first time she's coming back since she got married because obviously like the pandemic happened and her plans to come back in 2020 went for a toss. This is landing up being a really like chatty vlog, okay? So let's just get with the program on that first of all. So this is the first time she's coming and she's coming with her baby boy. She had a baby six months ago. On 18th, he'll be six months old. On 18th November, he'll be six months old. Sorry, one sec, call time. What was I saying? What was I saying? I got a call and I forgot. That Simona is coming. Sounds like winter is coming. Simona is coming. Much excited. Um, gonna make sure I go and pick her up from the airport and everything. I'm so excited to meet my nephew. Oh my god. Um, also my cousin is coming. You guys have met my cousin Kainath and her kids in the vlogs. Alina and Aliza. She moved to London in February, March. Or was it March? I'm confused. I'm really confused. Um, but she is also coming back for a month. She is coming back in a few days. Aaj kya hai? Aaj 15th hai. She's coming on the 18th. So I'm damn excited to get time with all of these people that I love so much. I am not traveling anywhere anytime soon, clearly. But uh, at least like all the people that I would like to travel to are traveling back home for a bit. So I'm damn excited about that. For everyone who has said film food videos with my mom-in-law, I think I'm planning to do that tomorrow. She's making mutton biryani for Jerry. She was gonna make some today, uh, but then I said, can you cook it tomorrow so I can like make a recipe out of it for you guys. Which also kind of reminded me that I have a bunch of recipes, I think three or four to be literally speaking, of like really delicious vegetarian food from my trip to Kerala. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, I will leave it for you in the eye and down below. I feel like if you try to recreate those, you will absolutely love those because we made them in Kerala and it was just so good. 
um, and delicious and healthy even for that matter. So I'm very much looking forward to getting those edited and having those uploaded and maybe short. So whatever, um, I have shared a lot of things with you and I've been in very bad bad mood today. Um, again, that's I think because I'm feeling better today. Yesterday I just felt like potty to be honest. Like. <laughs> I felt like shit is what I'm trying to say. I just was, I just kept feeling so like heavy on the head, tired, migraine, this and that. Which also reminds me, there was this migraine Dawai that they gave me in Kerala, which was an Ayurvedic one. And my usual chemist didn't have it, but there's this other chemist near my house who's like an all Ayurvedic um, chemist. I'm going to remind Jerry, he said he would stop by there. I need to send him the name and he will stop by there and um, grab it. Did I tell you guys that we also hired a couple of people which I'm really excited for? Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulillah. I'm really hoping that this temporary non-stability instability we've had with um, a couple of, you know, team members goes away. I'm super excited for these next two people to start. So we've hired one usual assistant for me. And the other person is going to be Verified's assistant brand manager. Jerry and I both really needed to relieve ourselves of a few tasks because like we were going a little bit mad to be honest. So we're looking forward to welcoming these people soon. One person is joining next week. They were actually supposed to join today but a medical emergency came up in their family. So they're starting on Monday instead of starting on this Tuesday. And uh, the other person uh, is joining in December first week. So really looking forward to getting some help. I've been keeping things uh, aside to train people on. Like things I would typically just do myself. I'm actually for the first time in my life not doing them and saying okay no i'm not gonna do this now instead i am gonna wait and show this person how to do this instead so it'll become like training as well which i'm uh, kind of looking forward to vlogmas is around the corner i have been making lists of things that i'd like to include in my vlogs things i'd like to do um in terms of collabs this year i don't think i have as many planned as i did last year but i think i should like get to taking a look at it for sure. I've already shot one with Nridul, which you know I'll always do Nridul's fam. Um, so she was super excited and I was even more excited about filming both the videos, hers and mine. I think maybe a couple of other people I should do now, just so that it's not one random quota. I feel like I should look into that this week. Let me see who else is doing work this though. Because I'd like to see who else is doing work with and then probably do collapse with them just so it makes more sense. I should look into that one of these days. I just realized I didn't tell you something. Uh, the room makeover, studio room makeover is happening since the last time I vented to you about feeling uninspired and like I need to do something about it and things like that I went online shoplisted a whole lot of furniture wrote down some ideas and I think you'll see that really soon maybe I should leave that for like the vlogmas series what do you say um, because I remember the first vlogmas video of last year's series was also about my living room makeover so maybe this year's should be my studio room makeover I don't know tell me what you think in the comments I'm gonna quickly do my liner mascara and lipstick. BRB, I am running short of time right now. Vato Vato Miss. I'm getting uh, OG egg dosa today. <laughs> made by mummy. Egg dosa with pori. You don't like the batter of Bombay, right? No, I don't So at home in Chennai, mummy makes her own batter. She has that big machine that grinds things for like... How much time does that machine mummy? Egg Do ghanda. Do ghanda. And she makes her own batter. Fresh. Parukana mala pori pai jaya wo masala. A few moments later. Hi, hello. Uh, picking up the camera after a little over an hour. I had a couple of back to back to back to back to back calls happening. The um, next two launches of Verified are taking up a chunk of my time. Uh, apart from which I'm also planning a few things in the sense that I need to get the new team members to do A, B and C 
one of the challenges I face with like delegation in general and you'll probably relate to this if you have your own business or if you're at a medium position or at a higher position senior position in whatever company and job you have I feel like I'm one of those people who typically is like are in the chakra of training this person I will spend so much so much time why don't I just do it myself now I'm trying to become the kind of person that is more comfortable with delegation um i'm becoming the kind of person that is saying that yeah okay this time i will take lesser time to do it myself but i will have to keep doing it if i don't train someone to do it so i'm literally making every time something comes to my mind that needs to be done but it doesn't need to be new does it need to be done <laughs> does it need to be done instantly i'm adding it to a list with notes where i'm like okay the next the new team members that are joining i will make them do this and show them and train them um this is a big challenge for me one of the things that came up today in the podcast recording that i was doing and i'm really sorry i couldn't put the camera out and keep a time lapse and all of that uh because it just became so many conversations at the same time and um i didn't really like by the time i was meeting one person i was meeting the other person i was meeting the other person suddenly we were recording so um i didn't get the time to really vlog from there um but i know you guys have been asking me for like the longest time to start a podcast give me your honest thoughts on whether i should start a podcast down below in the comments okay like say my podcast thoughts and then give me your thoughts uh today while i was having this conversation about like work and career and those kind of things um while giving the interview on the podcast i realized and jerry and i were talking about this just two or three weeks ago with my parents in my parents house um was how i've had so many different types of jobs even before i became a content creator while i was in college because by the time i was in my third in my third year of degree college my last year of college i already had started my blog but like i've had so many different small weird or not so odd type of jobs here and there like i don't know if you guys know but like one of the jobs i had when i was in college was that i used to stand in the courtyard like of malls i still remember going and buying my first is a teenage adult young adult whatever um white shirt with a collar and full sleeves because i used to go to the mall and um announce which stores are running what offers and i used to make one announcement every 45 minutes or every hour and i used to make 1500 rupees a day that was one of my initial initial jobs i don't know if you guys are interested in knowing back story of like before i became anam the creator or whatever um but like talking to people about my early days and this and that makes me really nostalgic and makes me really grateful to be very very honest with you also very 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 grateful um yeah alhamdulillah 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 um then i came back home after that podcast recording had a bunch of calls i'm really hoping that the next two launches for verified happen really really soon I'm hoping to have at least one of them happen in November itself and then maybe the next one in December. Keeping my fingers crossed inshallah 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 inshallah. Um on the note of like small jobs and this and that I'm really excited for tomorrow. So tomorrow are the L Beauty Awards. Wow this vlog is just me sitting and chatting with you with a lot of like general things. Huh? Sorry this one is not like moving around. It's more chatty. I'm sitting next to my dustbin. Huh? This would be Jerry making fun of me about how I'm trash. Oh no. Just, let me just make the joke myself. So tomorrow is a really cool day because not only am I attending the LBT awards which I have attended several times and it's really cool and I always feel grateful. Uh but tomorrow for the first time ever. Now this might not seem like an achievement to you guys but for me it definitely does feel like a mini achievement. For the first time ever I am being asked to present an award to one of the winners. um and that's something that, that i'm really excited about that's something that definitely excites me um as someone who is still learning sense of self worth um being in the industry for 11 years being a content creator for 11 years having my own brand run successfully for one year um it's a very happy strange welcoming feeling when they texted me saying we want you to um hand over the award Yeah, sure. Got me in, and in my head, I was like, first time. I've always wanted to do these things. I mean, I've won a few awards here and there, sure, but also giving an award feels like a really like senior feeling. And I know who I'm giving the award to and everything, but I don't want to. Let me save that for tomorrow's vlog, okay? Um, another thing that I have on my to-do list. <laughs> I'm a sound 
like such a giddy old child to you guys sometimes i feel like you're journaling my thoughts to nothing but a camera that makes me feel less lonely sometimes <laughs> most times to be honest another thing on my to do list for today that i need to get to working on is vlogmas planning things out for vlogmas getting my ducks in a row for vlogmas next week onwards i need to go on an uber drive to film um especially for the sit down videos that i want going up during vlogmas cuz devyesh is going on another week's leave and i want to make sure that i wrap up as much edit work as possible before he goes on the leave obviously because he's going to come back from the leave only on the 4th or 5th of december which means my first few videos better be like i like i have to edit myself or they'll be edited by him so much more in advance that's what's going on i am going to go take my minimal glam off would you guys want me to do a video during my vlogmas series about like absolutely minimal glam like this literally I have absolutely no idea where my card got full. Here's hoping everything I shared with you stays on the card. Uh, let me just jump to whatever I was talking to you about last. Would you guys be interested in this no foundation, minimal glam kind of makeup routine being part of my sit down videos for vlogmas? Ah, that was a really weird, creepy, too close wala angle. Is this better? Is this better? I have no lipstick. I just have a lip oil on me. Um would you would you would you would you would you this is not edited this is literally me going obnoxiously close to the camera but this is what i look like in real life if you ever see me so close this is what i look <laughs> so creepy i know okay i'm going to go i'm just chitty chattering a little bit too much because i'm feeling happy in my heart very happy in my heart of the down smiling Oh very happy in my heart to be in dance mare re Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna pull out my Wefam comment shoutouts because I am doing them more often in case you haven't noticed. And um I'll start a new vlog tomorrow cuz god knows I've been a little too chatty in today's video. और बैठ बैठ के बातें कर कर के ही हो रहा है सब ओके आई गॉट टू वेफ एम कॉमेंट शार टूडेज वीडियो वेन यू लीव अ कॉमेंट बिलो यूज द हैश टैग ना वेफ एम सो आई ट्रैक दैट एंड आई डू वेफ एम कॉमेंट शार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द फर्स्ट वन गोज टू दिव्या एंड द सेकेंड वन गोज टू कोमल जैन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टॉकिंग टू मी इन द कॉमेंट्स आई सी इन द नेक्स्ट वन बाई